In our previous video, we showed how to create users, groups, and roles. And in this video, we're going to show how we can use um, those user groups and roles to basically enable a particular, you know, information. We can, you know, make a, a push button enable based on a login or even a screen uh, uh, enabled or visible based on a, on a login. And um, also we need to go ahead and create a login form to do that. So the login form is actually a widget that is in the template library. Template library is up here. And uh, if we type in login, we will get underneath widgets this login form. I'm going to bring this over into the um, project view, but before I do that, I need to kind of have a place to, to store it or to, or to, uh, to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a folder and I'm going to create a folder under screens and say new folder. And we'll call this folder, um, we'll call it uh, user security. Get that um, just the you know we can call it whatever we want. It's just basically a place to hold our our um, widgets that will be around the user security. Um, so now that we have this folder created, we're going to take this widget from the underneath the components, and we're just going to click on it and drag it into this user security folder. I can now close my template library. So when I do that, I get the login form. And if I expand that, we see a login form uh, type. So the one thing I got to do to configure this is if I click on login form type, I get the properties window over here on the right. We do need to link our users, dynamically link our users uh, under node ID here to the user folder where we have our kind of users uh, created or some of our user database, so to speak. So I'm going to take this folder that's underneath security, I'm going to take the users folder and drag it into the, um, let me do that again, uh, drag it into the users uh, next to the node ID. And that'll make the dynamic link for us. All right. So that's all we got to do to link that. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new screen in here. That will be our, our login screen. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, right click on screens, say new screen. Here's our screen one that got created. I'm just going to call it user login. And if I double click on that, that'll open up the screen. And to use the login form, I, you know, underneath the widget that I just, you know, brought in from the library, I'm going to take this login form I'm just going to drag it and put it onto this page. Or actually, um, can't do that. Let me uh, take that back. I'm going to go right click on that page and say new. And I'm going to go to screens. And then I'll go to user security, login form, and then choose login form. So that's how we actually would drop that. Then I could put this form you know, anywhere we want. It doesn't really show anything. It just shows it as a square right now. Um, but we're going to kind of put that, maybe we'll put it right here. All right. So the other thing we'll do is we're going to add this new um, screen uh, user login. I'm going to drag it up here to the navigation bar to add it to my project navigation. Okay. Now that'll um, <clears throat> give us the login when we, um, when we click that. So next, I'm going to, next thing I'll do is I will um, I'm going to uh, kind of add a I'm just going to add a push button to this uh, overview panel. So if I double click on overview, that brings this panel here, and then I'm just going to uh, right click, say new base controls. I'm just going to add a button, and it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to really link this to anything. The point of what I want to show here is that. Maybe I'll uh, rename this to um, you know, something like overview or something like that. But what I want to show is that if I 
uh, were to make it visible or enabled, I can actually choose to uh, link this visibility or this enabled to the either the user group or role that I want to do. So we're going to do visibility. I'm going to hit this um, dynamic link icon that pulls up the, the window. I'm going to go to aliases. I'm going to go to session. I'm going to go to groups. And I'm going to say, we'll assign that this button will only be visible to group two. And I will say, select. The other thing we can do is um, if I want to actually make something on my navigation bar uh, only accessible to a particular group, when I come back up here to main window, I go to my navigation panel. Remember our navigation panel um, has our overview open, open one, two, three, and this, this new um, user login. Um, so I click on navigation panel over here and the right is the properties. Um, underneath on each panel or each tab in the navigation, I do have the ability to have an enabled and a visible um, you know, feature. So if I scroll down, let's say maybe we want to make oven two, perhaps, um, which is right here. Let's make oven two only enabled when you are uh, a group two user. So once again, I click the dynamic link. I uh, select aliases, session, and then we come down and we pick group and we pick group two. And then, you know, the other thing that's interesting here is that's enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and make, um, I'm going to go ahead and make this next one, which is the um, oven three. I'm going to go ahead and make it completely invisible unless it's a particular group is logged in. So once again, we'll go to session, we'll go to groups, and uh, maybe in this case, we'll say it's only visible to group one and say select, All right? So just by basically linking those groups and or roles um, or users, we can control who gets to see what. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start the emulator and we'll see how this actually works. So here's our uh, emulator. Notice that right now, that button that I added to the overview is not visible. Also notice that oven two is grayed out and oven three is completely gone, invisible at this moment. Uh, so oven one is accessible and overview is accessible and our user login page is accessible. So right now, uh, we can go ahead and choose um, to log in as user one, and our password was password one. I will hit log in. When I do that, you notice that oven three immediately became visible. I can now click on oven three, but notice that oven two is still grayed out because it's not um, assigned to group one users. Also, if I go back to the overview, the button is not visible. We'll go back to the login. We will log out. This time I will choose user two and I will enter user two password and we'll log in. All right, so oven two uh, became active or enabled. Oven three is still invisible or not visible to the group one user. So I can click on oven two and see it. Now, if I go to overview, my button uh, is now visible, right? So pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple by, um, you know, creating our users, groups, and roles. And then we can then use those, um, those properties to, to make uh, particular, um, you know, features either enabled or visible.